Hi, my name is Yener Ekşi and I wish to become a Google Certified Trainer. I'm a senior chemistry teacher with 18 years of experience in three different countries, Turkey, Ukraine and Albania. Currently, I'm working at Turgut Özal Colleges as head of chemistry department. This is the largest private educational institution in Albania. After starting to use G Suite in my lessons, the quality of my teaching and satisfaction of my students, parents and administrators have improved dramatically. I just want to spread this goodness. In my region, people are using G Suite in their daily lives, but very few people use them for education and even less people know about Google certifications for teachers. Now, after becoming a Google Certified Educator, people are asking me about Google Apps and I'm helping them individually as well as in groups. I have already provided training about G Suite for Education to teachers of our schools, to pre service teachers and to members of Guidance and Counseling Department. I've also talked about G Suite as a keynote speaker at an international educational conference. Today, I want to introduce to you one of the great features of Google Sheets, the pivot tables. Let's assume that you are the vice principal of grade 11 of your school and you have had an all year charity event. Your classes have collected money by a variety of activities and you have reported all the data with a Google Sheet. However, the data in here seems to be a little bit unorganized. At this point, using pivot tables can help you visualize all these data in a perfect way. To insert a pivot table, you first select the chart, then go to data and choose pivot tables. Google Sheets suggests some tables right here. Let's try one of them. Great. It may work for you, but let's assume that you need a more detailed table. Then we first remove the automatically created one. Now let's try creating our own tables. Here on the left side, I'd like to have the classes. So, here in the row session, I choose class. In the columns, I want to see the charity sources. Here we have it. But we don't have any values, let's add them. From this table, you can get how much donation is collected in total, by classes, and from which source. If you'd like to get a bit more detailed information, you can add a row or column. Let's say that we need the donation dates. Then we can add a new row with the dates. Doing this, you can understand how much of, what kind of donation is made, at which time, by which class. Pivot tables in Google Sheets is a very powerful tool that you can use in your schools to boost your efficiency. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.